White Island Fakari erupted just after 2pm on the 9th of December. White Island is an active volcano that is situated 30 miles off the east coast of the North Island in New Zealand. As the news came in that this volcano had erupted, we had no idea around the total people on the island at the time. We put out uh, communications to our internal teams. We had volunteers come in that were on days off. We mobilised an intensive care uh, team of three with our King Air 350 uh, twin lifeboat stretcher uh, capable aircraft. We've been involved in uh, some mass casualties over the years. The complexities with this transfer were very much around dealing with uh, multiple burns patients of up to 30 patients with burns that would overrun any country um, and multidisciplinary approach to moving these patients and looking um, at the future treatment and how we were going to cope as a country was um, of significant consideration. My name is Angela Coward and I'm the Director of Flight Nursing for New Zealand Air Ambulance Service. We had really limited information at first. We thought we were going to two to four patients, we thought they were going to have hand burns and that their airways were intact. None of them were critical care at that point in time. Oh, well, the reality was one of our patients was already intubated. She was really quite unwell and quite unstable. And the other patient was a high dependency patient that we tossed up whether to intubate him or not. We could have intubated him. Um, we made the decision not to and it was the right decision. These burns were thermal and chemical. We're more used to treating thermal burns. The chemical burns have added problems and factors around metabolic management. A disturbance in the calcium metabolism affects the patient systemically. We transported five patients around New Zealand. The first four went to Christchurch Hospital and the last one went to Wellington Hospital. A few days later we were asked to transport a patient from Wellington to Australia. And with this patient we also took him away from family members that were still in New Zealand. Now I spoke to them at length before we left and it was a mother and his sister and I just assured them that I'd look after him like I'd look after my own brother. He was about my family's age, so they seemed to appreciate that. They seemed to get some comfort from that. Yeah, so in New Zealand Air Ambulance Service, we're trained to do this. This is our job. Every day we move critically unwell and sick patients around New Zealand, around the Pacific and around the world. So these were a really special group of patients and it was a privilege to be involved, but it is what we do. New Zealand Air Ambulance Service is a family-owned Kiwi company. We are invested in our patients, their outcomes and our personnel.